I'm here to tell you how much I love you, how much I adore you, how much I care for you. My only thing you want? Can you see yourself with me for the rest of your life? Yes, man. Like I said, I just want to tell you how much I love you. Okay, so you tell me you love me every day. So what? Because that's what you can call me up here for. I love you. OK, I love you, too. Let's go back. But right now, if you look behind you, you got the ocean. OK. You feel me? Oh, man. Why is it looking so sexy in your hair? What's happening? What do you Tell mean? me what's going on right now. There's candles lit, there's mm. strawberries. Mm. 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 And then you're kissing me like that. What's happening? What's happening is Big Daddy back is better. I've been the one on top in the bedroom for months now while Alex back been healing slowly. But yesterday, the doctor said that he's cleared and ready to resume normal back activities. It's about time he mounts this stallion. Shut oh up. Oh my God. Yeah. Fur cuffs. <laughs> right. Nah, you acting crazy. It's well, time to get our sex life back, Jay. I'm sorry. The doctor said I was getting better, but not 100%. No, he said you're good to go. It's more like 75% so ready to go. So the doctor cleared me for moderate exercise and activity. Moderate. Maybe not Donna moderate, though. Like, easy. Listen, I got some very beginner <clears throat> positions that we can do. Don't none of these look like beginner. <sighs> I love Donna, but she's trying to go from zero to 60 straight out the gate. If I try any of these positions, I'm going to be in a back brace for the rest of my life. OK, so very simply called the plow. The plow don't sound simple. <laughs> we can do that. Look, you got to get behind me, right? And then boom. Oh, whoa. Nah. <laughs> and then the other leg, I come too. Are you Yeah, but you know, I'll wait till you're back. Three more days, that'd be week two. If Alex needs to pace himself a little bit, then I can deal with that. But he better be limbering up at all times because the free ride is over. It's time to get it. Really and then the rock and roll, come style. here. You can do that one. What is, what is the rock and roll? Come on, you rocking and rolling, Big Daddy. Rocking and rolling? Yeah. See, oh, I see. Got it already. Yeah, no. Little... My back is done. No, it's, it's not. Gonna, it's going to be done. It's going to be done. Even if my back was 100%, which it's not, I still don't feel like I could do most of these positions. You got to believe in yourself, Big Daddy, OK? My doctor don't even believe in me yet. <laughs> like... You owe me this, OK? It's been months, months of me picking up the slack. So you need to. Um, we need to make this pay. I made it up already. All you have to do is agree to it. 20 days, 20 different positions. That's it, boom. You make it sound so easy. Come on, get up in these <laughs> Promise me. <sighs> yeah. Boy, it's on. And you better be lucky it's only one position a day. If it was up to me, we'd be doing those 20 positions in five days. Come on. No. no. Yeah. Right now. What do you think I'm gonna all this sexy lingerie for? <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes, big daddy. Come here. I'm gonna bust your ass. What am I gonna do? I just want you, 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 you. You look sexy. Thank you. Icy. You know, I had to come through for you. Okay. I like it. I love you. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. For real. I'm gonna say that. Alex is in a super lucky dovey mood because we've been having the best sex of our lives. And tonight is our one year anniversary. So we're back at the bar where everything started around 2 a.m. in the bathroom. Oh my god. Trying to get in the bathroom. That's Alex, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> As everybody on the internet already knows. 
Welcome to UC Social. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Do you have anything that you can set on fire? This is my man. I'm trying to get the strong D tonight. Uh -huh. I need you to hook it up. We'll see what we can do. We make experiment with new positions every day since that's part of our pack. Since Alice's back got better. And tonight is no different. We still got 16 more to go. I want the strong D. Oh, you trying to kill me. My loins are burning for you, babe. And not in an STD way. New things, spicy things. Mm. I'm feeling real risky. So maybe we should go home. Or we could go over there in our original spot. All right. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Go ahead. It's not just this restaurant. This bathroom is where our love truly began. And we have video proof. But we've also had just enough drinks to feel like this is a good idea again. So why the f not? Ah! OK. <laughs> All right. <Dang. laughs> oh. Nobody saw us. Let's, like, get the f out of here. Big Daddy. You bad. You so bad. Am I? Aren't we just so perfect together? We live. Like, let's just get married and make it all the way official. Um, yeah, definitely someday. Okay, but like, how soon? What's your song? Like, six, seven months. You tripping. I told you when we first started talking, I have like a two year time limit, and it's already been over a year, so. We've always agreed on two years. Maybe I haven't mentioned it since he's been injured, but why is he changing course now? At this I'm point, like, we've been together for a year. We're basically married. We've done everything that married couples do. Except get married. What's the big deal about signing some papers? Because I want to. I've been taking care of this man financially and physically for nine months now. And now that he's almost 100% healed, she wants to tell me he's not ready to propose. I was serious about my two-year deadline. And if he's not serious about me, I'm out. I'm not asking you to marry me tomorrow. I'm telling you that you, you got a couple months to propose. If you don't want to marry me, shut up. you're about to really piss me the off. Right. So while you sitting and figuring that out, I'm going to go home. And I guess you can make it wherever the you make it. Seriously? Things have been a little strained between Alex and me since our fight about me wanting to get married. Luckily, Sky had the brilliant idea to test Alex's commitment to me, and tonight is the night to make it happen. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, let me see. Well, I'm excited. Ah! You look like a little monk. You ready to get married? I am. You look so cute, babe. I'm setting up to throw a pretend wedding in our living room with Bay as my fake priest. So Donna, how are we gonna do this? You're hidden. Alice comes to the door. I tell him to close his eyes. I walk in. So I'm here already? N no, you're hidden. Oh, like, I'm hidden, okay. Alice comes to the door. Uh -huh. I walk in, boom, boom, boom. You there, Alex here, then I land here. Mm -hmm. We gotta make sure that Alex is serious because I'm done fooling around, okay? You gotta buy the cow because I'm done. Look, I know this is a bit over the top, but I just feel like Alex needs a rude awakening to decide if he's in this for the long haul. Do you know what type of words to use? What kind of words? Under God. Oh my God. I do. Just use a lot of like wedding sounding words. Say matrimony. What's that? Matrimony, bitch. Like, oh, we joined today in holy matrimony. Matrimony. You already I think that bitch. I don't know. I don't know. But you gotta sell it. Oh my god, I gotta Google it. Oops. Yeah, Google it. Alex, is that you? Don't look. Close your eyes. Close the door. Close your eyes. Come here. Why am I? I got a surprise for you. I'm a little nervous at how Alex is gonna react, but everything looks super cute. Even Bay. How could you be mad at this? What the f 
What y'all doing? Listen, I understand you want to get married and everything, but this right here, this is really, really like taking it to the next level. What's the problem? Yeah, no. This is not the way I imagined our wedding. Oh, so you have imagined it? Yes, I've imagined it, but at this point, it's like, you done f***ed it up for me because it's like, why are you doing all this? Listen, like, I feel like right? this is a very cute gesture. Like, I don't understand what's the big deal. This does not make no sense right now. Like, we're in our apartment, and you have Bay and whatever the f*** this is. Well, I guess I know where I stand with Alex now. I was just trying to see if he was committed to this relationship, and now he's going off on me and Bay. Nah, I'm not with this Well, you know what's actually the funny part, though? Is that this was a test, and you just failed. You're proving exactly what I needed to be proved. Like, you're not really serious about this relationship. In what world is marriage a joke to you? Because it's not a joke to me. OK, well, you can do so. Oh, by all means, take your I'm not playing with you no. about marriage. Ass I just did all this for what? Oh, that just backfired. We here, Big Daddy. Uh, man. It's the <laughs> moment of truth. <laughs> Smoky, bloody, huh? Oh, man. I am nervous. <laughs> Why? Don't be nervous. What you mean, don't be nervous? To be honest, I haven't really told my parents too much about Alex. They know I've been seeing someone for a while that I'm starting to get serious about, but I haven't really given them more details than that. Because they might have heard about that freak nasty video. Oh my god. Kinda getting and in the bathroom. That's Alex, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> they might not be too happy about it. So I'm just hoping this is kind of like a clean slate for Alex and my family. So like, how many people are supposed to be here? Like, is it like the whole family, half the family, a quarter of the family, like a third of the family? Boy, if you don't come on, you being crazy. I be feeling like this when I go to court. That's exactly what this feel like, court. I feel like I'm about to go on trial right now, but I'm gonna throw in this charm and hopefully win them over. Hey, sis. Hey. Hey. What's up, bro? Hey, Alex. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Alex. Hey, Alex. How are you? Okay. <laughs> Let's see where she gets her, her beauty from. All right. Okay. My family takes a little time to warm up, but once they talk to Alex, I know that they'll love him just as much as I do. Would you like to make yourself at home? You can take your hood off. Oh, I'm sorry. No disrespect. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of gold in your in your mouth. Yeah. It may grow on me, we'll say that. It's open. That's Ooh. daddy. Ooh. <laughs> Big dog in the house. Yeah. Hey. What? Hey. What's up, buddy? Smoke it. What's up, buddy? Smoke. Donna's dad is kind of giving me Eminem vibes right now. This might be tougher than I thought, but I got this. Dad, Hunter, me, Alex. Alex, get up. What's going on, man? I'm Alex, but I go by Vagina Slayer. Oh. I mean, but respectfully, I'm Alex. <laughs> I mean, you know, respectfully, I, I could be V Slayer, I could be Alex. Respectfully. Feel me? I was born Alex. What is happening? Is Alex having a stroke or something? Come on, V Slayer. Like, V for victory, V for anything. All right, then. You look real nice. I like the hat. All right, well, I want to learn more about my man. Vagina Slayer? Like, so I, I see you got, like, a, a nice Instagram following. Like, you know, I see you a solid artist. Like, that's what your thing is? Yeah, I love tattooing. I love art, period. And so how long have you been tattooing? Um, going on about eight years. 
I heard you in the pharmaceuticals. That's what you do? That's what you went to? You're a pharmacist? I'm sweating. Do I look like I'm sweating? I mean, like, what qualities interest you in Tiger? Do you care about her, like, as a person, or are you, like, looking at it as an opportunity to advance your career? So, may I use the bathroom? Sorry, I mean, excuse me. me. Come on and wine for me. You know I like how you slip when you slide for me. Are you gonna drink, bitch? No, I'm not. When Nico wakes up at 6.30, I wanna be like, hi, baby. But you'd be a lot more fun if you was drunk, baby. I invited the whole crew out for drinks, but only Bay and Mike came home. But it's cool, because everybody else is gonna meet my family tomorrow night at a barbecue. So you back in the field? So you not dating? You not talking to nobody? You not I have Nico, right? And I always, like, kiss him and stuff like that. And, like, I don't feel right. I don't know how uh, I feel about that. I can't have my mom call over some guy and then go home to Nico and kiss him. Oh, that's gross. You just in love with Nico right now. That's fine. Uh, but guess what? My A1 <laughs> day ones are on their way, bitch. They're gonna get you some <laughs> No! Get, get up and <laughs> Let's just make that happen. We're in my hometown. Nico is hundreds of miles away, and Cleveland got some good <laughs> Girl, The people here tonight, I've known since the sixth grade. Like, these are my best friends, sisters for life, like A ones, day ones. Like, nobody is taking their place. They need some hey, What is wrong with you guys? Oh my God. Donna, come on, make it happen. Hey, he said what you got nothing? He got nothing. Uh oh. Baby, you gotta talk. So you like my friend? Yeah. So like, one of my exes might pop up. I don't want it to be nothing funny or whatever, because we still friends. All right, well, hopefully it is not funny. It's gonna be super cool, I promise you. I know you. Secure. Definitely secure. Right. It might be weird that I'm introducing Alex to an ex, but this person is really important to me, and it's important that Alex know everybody that I care about. Oh, Tay! Nancy! Stop! Hey, Tay! Hey, Tay! Hey, Tay! Wow. Donna's friends are a wild bunch. Meek, Alex. Alex, Meek. Alex. This is my ex that I was coming about. Your ex is a girl. I'm a girl, girl. She a girl, girl. I'm a girl, girl. Right. What up, yo? Alex! 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 We gonna be family. <laughs> I can't. We gonna be family, Alex. You're meant small, bro. Hey, like, she used to say, fun size. Fun same. size. This is your ex. Yes, she is. I've been loved her, but it's, it's platonic. Hey, yo, we good, bro? I thought I knew everything about Donna, but what I love about her is that she always surprises me. I keep learning new things about her. It keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Alex met me, the ex-girlfriend. It's, it's good. Listen, we all got exes, okay? When did I get it? I'm gonna go get it. why I've been having such a hard time trying to impress Donna's dad. So I asked him to meet me away from the house so we could speak man to man. Because if he doesn't approve of me, then I don't know what our future holds with me and Donna. So I just want to start off by saying, thanks for meeting me, man. I know it's been a rough past couple days. Well, for me at least. Uh, you know. Every time we talk, it's like real tense. And I don't want it to be that. Like, do you have a problem with me?
I mean, I'm not going to say a problem, but, you know, of course, I'm, I'm just looking at you like you coming into Taylor's life, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to make sure that you have Taylor's best interests at heart. Okay. I, I could respect that. That's exactly why I asked you to meet me here right now. I'm trying to come to a common ground with you to let you know that I really do love your daughter, and I'm definitely in it for the long run. So, like, what are your intentions? Your daughter has been there for me from the moment I stepped in the shop, through my injury, through everything that we've been through. She's held me down. And bottom line, I want to marry your daughter. In the end, I just want to make sure that I have your blessing. That's all I'm, that's all I'm asking for. I appreciate that. It's like you could easily like take the route of like forget that dude. I ain't worried about him. Like I don't care what he thinks. But you like respectfully have come at me like you know man to man, and then you made your intentions known, and then you making me feel like I could definitely you know bring you into the family with love. Whew. That's that's like music to my ears, man. That's all I could ever ask for. Yes. Thank God I finally got through to this, man. Yo, listen, I really appreciate you moving me here today. We respect you, I'm so early. Believe it or not, people, Donna Lombardi is ready to grow. I'm ready to prove myself the best artist that I can be. And that's not all. Now that my boo got permission for my family to propose. I want to marry your daughter. Definitely bring you into the family with love. I'm ready to graciously accept Alex's marriage proposal and become Mrs. Vagina Slayer. <laughs> hey girl. Oh, little stream. You look cute. Thank you. These are not giving me my job back has really got me frustrated. So, being the artist I am, I need to think about some other opportunities outside of the shop. Well, thanks for coming though. Yeah, no, for sure. What are we doing here? I've been thinking that I need to do something that's just for me. And I thought I'd get back into making clothes. Really? Yeah, I like made my prom dress in high school. That's a cool. sewing machine, like everything. So screw anyone who says I'm not an artist, you know? This whole uh, Caesar really not taking me seriously, not allowing me to be the f***ing artist that I am is really just like smacking me in the face. Yo, bro, I went from running four shops to coming to Black Ink to being demoted to receptionist. I was there too, you know, that is whack. I totally get how Don is feeling, but just because Caesar demoted me doesn't mean I'm not a boss, and I know Donna a boss ass bitch. And Caesar may think it's a man's world, but he's gonna learn. It's not. <laughs> Anyways. Thanks for being here, little Shmedia. I got you, girl. If it's one thing that gets me out of funk, I have to say, Tati's cute little ass always puts a smile on my face. Seriously, though, Tati has a really cute ass. Aw, you really chilled me up, girl. Where is Alex, anyway? Why isn't he here? Um, I don't know. Busy. I just needed some girl time. Have you talked to Alex? About me? <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, I just want to make sure he's, you know, cool with it. You don't have no problems with it. With you know, what? I'm trying to being really good friends? Love on you. How would he have a problem with it? Dad and I have been spending a lot of time together. Go, Tati. <laughs> Which I definitely would like to continue, but I just want to make sure that Alex is cool with whatever it is that Don and I got going on. Most guys would think it's pretty hot, and Donna thinks he would be down, but you know, I don't want to be kept as a secret, and I also don't want to be known as a cheater. I just want to make sure it's all good on that side. I don't want, listen, no, you know what good. I'm not trying to do? I'm just not trying to be like, Actually, maybe I wouldn't mind being like a third what? wheel. <laughs> you get on my nerve. I tell you, you'd be the best third wheel ever. It'd be the best experience. Uh, I'm trying to tell you. I guess. But no, it's not like that. Whatever. Don't don't stress me out right now, Tati. You know how things go. If you don't talk about things, then they escalate, and then they become problems, and we've had enough problems. I haven't spoke to Alex about this little situation shit, but he does have eyes, and I wouldn't do this if I didn't think he'd be cool with it, so... Tati just needs to calm down and go with the flow, have some fun. I don't want no more problems here. <laughs>
No problems, okay? Everything's good. So just relax your little shoe your mind, okay? Good. Okay. I appreciate it. I hate you. Make you happy. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Oh, it's a little, it was such a bad flirt. Now let's get you some fabric. Into the erotic. Oh, no. oh. oh. oh what is this? Jump for joy. Bouncy castle of fresh? <laughs> Dreams do come true. Ugh. I think he's bugging me to tell Alex about this situation. <laughs> so I had a brilliant idea to take Alex to the sex museum and tell him all about it. Is this her lady's first? We gotta get our stamina up. Keep going, keep going. Yay! I figure all the sexual things around here are getting endorphins rushing to his brain, his heart rate beating fast, blood rushing to certain places, and a little aroused just to ease him into this conversation about that. <laughs> With you to the end. I want the one with the cotton candy in it. Oh, that's the lover's cocktail. Yes, that's the drink for us. Can you believe what good friends Tati and I have become this past year? Isn't it crazy? I definitely admire y'all friendship. It's cute. Me and Tati are getting even closer. Yeah, I'm with Tati. She keep it real, she keep it G, she speak her mind. So yeah, I can see why y'all get along. Well, we're more than getting along. I just have to say... Enough about Tati. Let's talk about me and you. Seriously. What? You complete me. Seriously. There's nothing more I can ask for, like... For me, we do everything together. Uh -huh. And I really appreciate it. How'd you get there? <laughs> what the f is Alex really about to propose to me right now? I was not expecting this. I don't know what that means for me and Tati, but who cares? I'm ready to get engaged. The fact that I know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you, I feel like it's time to definitely take it to the next level. We should, like, you know, make a little us, have a baby. Excuse me. Whoa. Are you kidding me? A baby, Alex, really? A baby? Like, I would like to see what me and you would look like together in a mini form, but we already got Cameron in the family. We got Smokey, and I feel like that's enough. I beg to differ. I really don't understand why Donna's reacting this way. I honestly thought she was gonna be excited by this. I feel like we're on the right path to having a kid together. I mean, we share an apartment together. We got a steady stream of income. So, what's the problem? Let me just document my life to you. 27, no kids, not gonna happen until I'm married. Boom. You're 27? Yes. You're not getting no younger. Let me inseminate you. Oh. And then, you know, halfway through, we go to the altar. I think that might work. Oh, so I could be a fat ass bitch in my wedding dress? Is he stupid, dumb, or an idiot? Which one? You tell me, because why the f well, I want to get married in the middle of a pregnancy so I can throw up on my dress. No. Seriously, baby. Deal drop it. I'm not going to be a baby mama. We need to have an empire before we have a child. And honestly, you know, I feel like you're being kind of selfish right now. Enjoy the sun you have, because Cameron deserves a lot, too. You know what? No, you better not get up. If anybody getting up, I'm get, getting up. You make I'm leaving. Hot. I don't appreciate none of this talk. No, right whatever. You're being corny. Crazy. Ooh, come in, come in. Thanks for having me, girlfriend. I can see myself waking up in here. <laughs> Ever since my date with Alex at the Museum of Sex, I've been feeling really down and frustrated about Alex refusing to propose and telling me to get pregnant instead. So I decided to drive all the way out to Mount Island and get the TLC that I need. Tati's love and care. That's the last time you got a haircut. Um, I think I've been growing it for a year. Alex asked for me to grow it, so I'm growing it back. He let you come along. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Tati. Well, you know, me and Alex went to the sex museum the other night, so I could tell him. But I might want to scissor you. Wait, so did you tell him or you did it? Um, I didn't get a chance to. Why? Because I started talking about a baby.
Weren't you just having conversations about like getting engaged and now he's ready for a baby without having that? Man, Alex is really f***ing up my flow right now. Zana was supposed to have been told Alex that we have something going on. Alex is supposed to be like, whatever, I don't care. That way, Donna and I can just scissor off into the sunset. I would love to see a little, a little baby Donna. And I think that you'd be a great mom. But I've been pregnant before and I was sick as Wait, you were pregnant? I didn't know that. Bitch, I didn't even know. I was in the hospital just because I was like throwing up. So they did a pregnancy test that was negative. Then they decided to do an ultrasound and it was a pregnancy in my fallopian tube. My atopic pregnancy was like one of the hardest things I've had to go through in my life. There was a chance that I could have died. On the way to the hospital, I was gonna wrong with Donna. <sighs> they ran a couple of tests. <sighs> Come to find out she was pregnant. So they had to take out a fallopian tube and a piece of my uterus. I'm like always gonna have a high risk pregnancy. So I'm just sad about that. And for Alex to ask me to have a baby without the proposal I want, without a wedding, without a ring, it's very insensitive. But it's also asking much, much more of me than he realizes. Like, I could die if I get pregnant again. And then they say, like, it's a chance that I might not even be able to get pregnant. Like, have you spoke to Alex about all that? Like, I don't think he know how serious it is. Alex has been a great boyfriend up until now. Like, I know he cares about me, but he should respect my feelings. If he wants another child, then let's start with a ring and go from there. You love Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex loves you. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys would make a beautiful family. You know, I'm gonna be a great yeah. godmother. Ah, you'll be the best. I had to tell them how we used to sugar. <laughs> no, don't tell them, because then they're gonna be I like, had to. I have to wait till they're like 16. Yeah. I don't know, like, listen, you do what your heart tells you to do, okay? And you know what? I think that that's exactly what you should be doing. So talk to Alex. Surprise for Alex the last couple days, and I cannot wait to see the look on his face. This pregnant belly and toy baby will squash all pregnancy talk with Alex once and for all. He's gonna be so turned off when he gets reminded that a baby comes with a ton of work, especially in the middle of the night. Oh my God. Oh, I think I'm going into labor. Oh my God. Oh, Dolly. The baby's coming. No. Oh, my f will never be the same. Oh. What day is it? What year is it? How long have I been asleep? Oh, my God. It's your gender neutral baby. <laughs> First of all, why is he wet? This is afterbirth. Say hello to Alex Jr. Why? Are you serious? Yeah. I just birthed this baby. My f hanging open, you're not gonna take the baby right now? You wanted a baby so bad, so here, touch it. I don't wanna touch it. Right. So if we have a baby, then you have no responsibility? This is exactly why no baby. Wait, did you do all of this so I wouldn't have a baby with you? I'm trying to show you what it's like to have a baby again. Gross slime and no sleep equals the life I don't want right now. You want this? Oh my God. This woman does these moves. She thinks that I care about a post-pregnancy belly or waking up in the middle of the night for my real child. I went through this with Cam already. I know how it goes. All I want to do is create a family with her. And uh, she really don't know me if she thinks this is going to change my mind. You think you're going to be doing tattoos and stuff? No. I'm not going to be the only one with this baby. Yo, you're really crazy. Allie, don't play with me. Hold it. I'm about to go get the bottle. Do not throw the baby. Seriously. I'll be right back. What the f was I for the I gotta get the Don't throw the baby at We're still having a baby, though. No, we're not. And find your own ride to kill Going back to sleep. Daddy! I don't know who this 12 year old think he is. So he's trying to hit on my girl. He think he's going to get her name tattooed? What the No, I am. Don't. No shorty in the tan. Oh, the one you said you was gonna get her name tatted. You know what I'm talking about? And that's my shorty. So I appreciate that you don't disrespect me, girl. Nah, we doing this for TV.
Oh, God. Why is Alex making such a big deal out of a cheesy pickup line from a 12-year-old? Like, come on, babe, what are you doing? I don't care if it's for TV, you feel me? Because that's real life. We got to do with real life. We good. Yeah, I'm just telling you. We good, though. You know exactly what I'm saying. Because I was trying to take to a, a nice situation. But y'all getting out of the pocket. Don't play with me. Out of here. You think you're going to play me? Hell no. He's going to regret ever talking to my girl. I'm about to act like you. You ain't gonna play with me. What kind of amateur going on right now? Can we not where we eat? This is exactly the unprofessional that was not supposed to happen. You ain't gonna play with me. You told me. I go crazy. This is like a cauldron. Look at this bacon cheeseburger milkshake. Hold the phone. They got a Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookie sundae. No, I need to come here every day until I eat everything. I know I've been putting Donna through a lot. From the baby situation to me almost fighting in Philly. I just want to show her that she's my number one. So I'm taking her out to spoil her with the sweetness that she deserves. You look so handsome and nice. You got a haircut. You must have known you was trying to finesse me tonight. I'm always trying to finesse you. I'm trying to impress you at all times. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just happy. I'm happy you're not tripping on me anymore. That whole baby nonsense. Yeah, you know, I don't really want a baby right now. But I just want, I just want you to keep it, like, up here on the list. Alice is the sweetest. I am so happy to have that baby-making conversation behind us. And now we can go back to being the happy couple that we were. But what's he gonna feel about what me and Tati been doing? You are a star tender. Oh, I just want to throw my face in here, man. <laughs> With this the is smoke? amazing. <laughs> this is crazy. This is beautiful. This is overwhelming. So yeah, this is this is this is very nice. Thank you. I try. Um. So you know, Bay. Um. There's something I've been meaning to tell you about me and Tati. You know, we <clears throat> have been hooking up. And that's that. You're just playing, right? I'm not playing. So you and Tati is like. Like y'all getting like intimate or something? Are y'all like kissing and stuff? Are y'all doing any of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we kiss sometimes. Sometimes when you're working or doing whatever, I can't talk to you, so I'll be calling Tati. How long has this been going on? Maybe a month. So it's not just messing around. Y'all been in a relationship relationship. That's not cheating. It is if it's done behind my back. I was a little worried that Alex wouldn't be cool with it, but this is definitely not the response that I was expecting. Alex will always be my number one, and now I feel like total for making him feel any other way. I guess Tati was right. I never should have waited to tell him. We're in a relationship, and that's what it is. A friendship, y'all being buddy buddy, that's cool. But if you get into an intimate relationship with a woman and hide it from me, that becomes different. Listen, I'm easy going, but I'm not down to be sharing my time with no other female or male. Simple as that. I need to know that I'm a priority in her life. And what she doing with Tati is showing me the exact opposite. I'm not the type of dude to stand around while my girl is getting smashed by somebody else and be okay with it. about the uncertainty of the shop, the one good thing that's come out of it is Alex has calmed down about the whole Tati situation. I really feel bad, and I want to do some things to make him feel good and feel better about our situation. I like this spot that you picked. Here. We came at the right time. Right, ain't nobody here. Can you see happy endings? You're so <laughs> When Donna told me about Tati, I was a little on edge. It's not just sex. It's the fact that they share an emotional connection and the fact that she didn't tell me about it. 
You look real nice. You smell good. You look kind of tense, babe. I feel like you're trying to like smooth me or something at this point, cause. Why do you smell so good? Is no. it your Oh, bro. Yeah. You see what I mean? What is going on? Um, I talked to Tati. About. Okay, so like we just put it into very clear terms what our relationship is. And that is just friends. Not friends with benefits. No, we're not. We got on clear terms. Friends only. And maybe we should stop spending like so so much time together. I love Donna more than I ever loved any other woman. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I can't bear to share her with no one, even Tati. I'm glad we finally on the same page. The funny she was cutting into a lot of my time. Like, it's just because y'all was out partying, you know what I mean? But that was really going on. But I'm happy that, you feel me? Everything is resolved. I do love this man. I could never deny feelings for him, especially seeing how hurt he was about this whole situation. Upsetting him was the last thing I ever wanted to do. So now I gotta focus on my bae because he's the one for me. No, you're my only big daddy. I know. Uh, I was just a little, I got a little sidetracked, let's call it that. Yeah. Just for a hot second. But I know you're my boy. I know you're my boy. Oh, do you see how high the water is right here? Listen, I have something important to say. I'm here to tell you how much I love you, how much I adore you, how much I care for you. <laughs> My only you want? Can you see yourself with me for the rest of your life? Yes, babe. Like I said, I just want to tell you how much I love you. Okay, so you tell me you love me every day. So what? Because that's what you can't call me over here for. I love you. OK, I love you too. Let's go back. But right now, if you look behind you, you got the ocean. OK. You feel me? Oh, man. Ah, what are you doing? Stop! Taylor Monet pick me. Will you marry me? Are you serious? Spent a lot of money on this ring. Baby, are you sure? I wouldn't be on one knee. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, babe. I love you. I love you so much. A long time. Oh, even when I be like, I hate you and you get on my nerves. Yes. Oh, oh I love you. I love you. Come on, put the finger on. Put, put the ring. Put the ring on, because I don't want to lose it. I love Big Daddy so much. I know I'm not perfect. I know I done did some but I'm gonna be such a good wife. I cannot wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Did this just happen? <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, oh my gosh. Congratulations. <laughs> just want you to know she still thinks about me when she <laughs> Even though I have feelings for Donna, it's more important to me to be the best friend that I can be for her. And if marrying Alex is what's going to make her truly happy, then I support that because her happiness is important. And I want to be the good friend that I know I'm supposed to be. I was engaged before, and it didn't feel like this at all. Like, it didn't feel like this at all. <laughs> me and Donna have been together for a long time, but being engaged is a whole different ball game. I know Donna been wanting me to propose to her for a minute now. And even though we're in Hawaii celebrating Walt and Jess, I can't pass up the opportunity 
to propose to Donna right here in Paris. You got me crying like a baby right now. You're his baby. <laughs> I'm glad I'm I could done. make it happen. Aww. It's raining Daddy, now. Come on. Yeah. I think they're perfect for each other. You know, I don't really have a great track record in the relationship department, but seeing Walton just getting married and now Alice and Donna are engaged, that gives me a little bit of hope. Maybe one day I can be the right person to settle down with. Maybe. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex from Black Ink Crew, New York. If you like what you see, subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel and we'll holler at you later.